I need some tractor parts, but you don't handle my kind. That's not my fault, old man. Remember how I worked on you back in 1941? I thought I was going to sell you a tractor, a plow, and a disc cow. But somehow I missed on the tractor. I got a real bargain on that tractor, Frank. I'm not so sure about that. What do you mean? Well, Tom, regardless of what you paid for it, I can show you where you could have saved a lot of money in the long run if you'd have bought a John Deere Model B seven years ago. And that doesn't take into consideration all the other operating advantages you could have enjoyed all these years. Well, maybe I'll give you a chance to prove all that. Figure I'll be needing a new tractor one of these days. Look, Tom, have you been reading about the new A and B tractors in the furrow? Yes, I have. Ever seen one operate in the field? No, not yet. Well, Tom, you're in for a real surprise. There's just nothing on the market that can compare with them for modern design and proved performance. Say, how about taking a run out to Roy Wilson's with me right now and let me prove it to you? He's got one of the new Model Bs. I ought to be getting home, Frank. It's close to dinner time. Come on. I'll buy you a sandwich when we get back. Maybe even a cup of coffee. Well, OK. Let me put these shares in my car. All right. Young Bill's behind the wheel. Fine lad. Yeah, they don't grow any better. Tops in this class all through high school. A leader in our 4-H and future farmer work, too. Smith. Hello, Mr. Jennings. Hiya, Bill. Hiya. How's she doing, Bill? Swell. Sure as a honey. Our old bee was a good tractor, but this one's even better. Walks right along in third gear. He's in the old one did in second. Is this the gasoline model? That's right, Mr. Jennings. You know, there isn't much difference between the price of gasoline and distillate around here, and we needed the extra power. Is extra power the only thing you like about this new job, Bill? Hey, are you kidding? Say, I could make your list a yard long. Well, go right ahead. Mr. Jennings came along because he wanted to see a new John Deere and find out more about its new features. Well, one of the newest things is its rollomatic front wheels. Here, let me show you. There's the new rollomatic feature, Mr. Jennings. Just for fun the other day, I drove in and out and in and out of a furrow. Those rollomatic wheels walked up and down that furrow wall as easy as pie. There just wasn't any wheel tub. The tractor steered almost as easy as on the level. I plowed some sod and couldn't help but notice how the front wheels kept hugging the ground with each one carrying its full share of the load. That saves plenty on tires. I've just corn stubble with this tractor, too. That was always rough going. But with these rollomatic front wheels, the tractor rides a lot smoother. Because up and down movement of the front end is just half what it is with ordinary wheels. You might call that knee action. You've got the idea, Tom. That's what we do call it. Rollomatic knee action front wheels. Has any other tractor got this feature, Mr. Smith? No, sir, Bill. Rollomatic is an exclusive feature. Another John Deere first. They were first with hydraulic power troll, too. Did you ever see it work, Mr. Jennings? No, only in motion pictures. I'll show you. You put the plow to work by pulling the lever clear back. You raise it by pushing the lever way forward. Anytime you want to change the setting on the move, you 
just push the lever slightly forward or back into the slow speed range. Then let go when the bottoms reach the setting you want and the plow will stay there. Pretty slick. Uh, but supposing you want to plow deeper than you've got her set now. You simply lift these two pins. And lengthen the stroke of the cylinder. You control the working range of all other drawn tools in the same way. By the way, Tom, that's the answer to disking over your grassed waterway. With power troll, you angle or straighten the disc gangs without stopping. As you come to the fast waterway, just push the control lever forward to straighten the gangs. Once you're across, pull it back and your harrow goes into full cutting angle again. You keep going until you finish. You get over your fields in a hurry when time means money. Say, that is a feature. The power lift on our old B was swell, but it couldn't hold a candle to this power troll. In cultivating or operating other integral tools, which are lifted and lowered from the rock shaft, power troll operation is similar to the hydraulic power lift we had on our old B, except for the depth control, which is something new. We quickly and easily get any desired position between maximum working depth and maximum lift without stopping or even slowing down to meet different field and crop conditions. There's just nothing on the market like power troll, Mr. Jennings, with the rock shaft for integral tools and the remote cylinder for drawn machines. There's hardly a piece of equipment we have to raise or lower by hand. Believe me, that certainly saves a lot of time and hard work. You're really sold on a John Deere, aren't you, Bill? You bet I am. Dad says I brag too much about this tractor, but I can't help it. Keep it up, Bill. Maybe I'll put you on my payroll. He's a better salesman than you are now, Frank. Why don't you get up on the seat, Mr. Jennings? Okay, Bill. Say, this is mighty comfortable. The seat may be a little too close for you, Mr. Jennings. Let me show you how to adjust it. I sure like the way you can stand up. Plenty of room, too. There's more than ever on this new model. Lift up that cushion, Mr. Jennings. Well, what do you know? There's the battery. Yes, sir. Right where it's easy to get out for servicing. Uh, what's this, the choke? Right. It's not the same type as on your tractor, Tom. This one is semi-automatic. You pull it out, and it adjusts itself to prevent flooding when the engine starts. Looks like a good feature. Here's the starter button, the light switch for both front and rear lights, the control lever for opening and closing the radiator shutter, and all the gauges are right here in front of you. This is the shift lever for handling all gear changes, six forward speeds and one reverse, and here's your hand clutch. Mm. I don't think I'd like a hand clutch. Why not, Tom? Well, I'm used to a foot clutch. A foot clutch is okay on a smaller tractor, Tom, where you can back into most of your equipment and hook up without getting off the seat. But with a tractor of this size, you're pulling larger plows, disc harrows, and other drawn tools. And there are a lot of times when you have to get off the tractor. With this hand clutch, you can hook up your drawn implements, or operate your belt-driven machines right from the ground. And here's another advantage. You're on that tractor for long periods at a time. If you want to stand up a while, you can operate the hand clutch without sitting down. I never thought of that. Why don't you take her around once, Mr. Jennings? By golly, I will, Bill. First, you advance the throttle lever. Now you pull out the choke. Then you step on the starter button.
Mr. Jennings was getting hungry when I talked him into coming out here. But it looks like he's forgotten all about eating. Well, there's nothing like getting behind the wheel to get the feel of a tractor, Mr. Smith. Say, isn't that your dad coming? Yeah, that's dad. Hiya, Frank. Hi there, Roy. I brought you a new hired man. You did, eh? Who is he? It's Tom Jennings. What? How'd you ever get him on a John Deere tractor? Bill did it. Just told him how easy it is to handle, and he wanted to see for himself. Well, I'll be. Say, Bill, will you run those groceries I've got in the car up to the house? Mother's waiting for them. Sure, Dad. and catch me driving a John Deere tractor. I knew you'd give in sooner or later. How do you like her? Fine. I even had her in fourth gear. How do they get so much power out of two cylinders? <laughs> That's where you take over, Frank. I know it's there, but you know why. Well, Tom, it isn't the number of cylinders in a tractor that determines its power. It's the bore and stroke and compression ratio plus the efficiency with which the fuel is burned. To begin with, this new B and the gasoline A have entirely new engines. Let's see. Yeah, I've got a folder here that'll show you what I'm talking about. Here's the cross section of the engine. Now, see this eyebrow just over the intake valve? It forces the incoming fuel and air downward in a swirling motion, creating greater turbulence. Now that looks like a cyclone there. That's exactly the effect, Tom. Cyclonic fuel intake to mix fuel and air more thoroughly for better combustion and improved all-round engine performance. John Deere two-cylinder engines always have been famous for their fuel economy and efficiency. But these new engines are tops. Isn't that right, Roy? It sure is. You know, Tom, I've sort of grown up with John Deere tractors. Dad had one of the first Model Ds ever put out. And there's been a John Deere on this place ever since. We've had four of them, in fact. That ought to prove something, Roy. It proves a lot of things. We're convinced you just can't beat a John Deere. Roy, if you were to put your finger on one feature about John Deere tractors and say, that's the reason why they saved us money. What would that feature be? It all goes back to those two cylinders again, Frank. The simplicity of that first Model D appealed to me as a young man. I could do all the servicing and make the minor repairs myself. I kept cost records on it and our other two tractors, like Bill is doing on this one. I'd stack those records against the records on any other tractors in the country. Say, Roy, what was our charge for the complete overhaul on your old B? Two years ago. I think it was uh, around $90. That sounds about right. How does that compare with the cost of overhauling your tractor, Tom? Well, it cost me a lot more than that. That's what I was telling you in town. I'll bet you've spent at least $100 more on overhauling a loan than Roy did on his old B. Maybe so. It just stands to reason, Tom, that a tractor with fewer, heavier parts is bound to last longer and cost less to operate. Are they still pulling it on, Mr. Jennings? I haven't got a chance, Bill. You know, I was thinking about another feature you'd like, the new slow speed. You've got a hay chopper like ours, haven't you? Yes, I have. With the heavy wind rose this year, we were able to creep along at a mile and a half an hour and still maintain full engine speed on the chopper. And boy, was that a lifesaver. Say, that sounds like an ideal speed for a lot of jobs. It sure is. Well, Tom, we're holding up these folks. It's way past dinner time. Say, that reminds me. Mom sent me down to invite you to eat with us. Sure. Come on, we can talk about something else for a while. It's fried chicken. Fried chicken? What do you say, Tom? We can't lose. Lose? What could you lose? First, you get Roy and Bill to gang up on me and sell me a tractor. 
Then you get out of buying my dinner like you promised. I think you win. Twice. <laughs> <laughs>